The Ever Relevant Gita, a present day rendering. Have you ever felt the urge to delve into the wisdom of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, but found yourself daunted by the complexity of traditional interpretations and verse numbers? Perhaps you've wondered if it's a book reserved for the religious and the pious. The truth is, the Srimad Bhagavad Gita is your timeless guide to mastering your mind and crafting a life of profound purpose, boundless meaning and unending satisfaction. It's a journey of self-discovery that anyone can embark upon regardless of age or religious background. Welcome to my interpretation of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, thoughtfully crafted to make its profound teachings accessible and relevant for all. The simple present tense has been employed throughout the narration because the wisdom imparted in the scripture is timeless and applies to any day and age. This presentation aims to help you relate to the teachings more easily, ensuring that they are not perceived as a distant event that might not suit the present. I wish you a pleasant, enlightening and fulfilling spiritual voyage through my rendering of my interpretation of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. The Ever-Relevant Gita – Ancient Wisdom for Modern Life Preface The Srimad Bhagavad Gita, comprising chapters 25 to 42 of the sixth book within the Bhishma Parva of the Mahabharata, imparts valuable teachings that can be life-changing for anyone. Sri Krishna, Arjuna's mentor and charioteer in the Kurukshetra battle, imparts lessons on virtuous living. This includes performing duties with total dedication, social responsibility and detachment from outcomes. Krishna elucidates life's facets, offering guidance for harmonizing spirituality and worldly pursuits in the imperfect and materialistic realm in which we live. Diverse Perspectives The Srimad Bhagavad Gita serves as a spiritual guide, a self-improvement manual, a source of verses for meditative practice and a guide for managing the mind. Unlike prescriptive religious texts, it avoids imposing mandates or commandments. Bhagavan Krishna expounds on natural laws such as infinity, cyclical existence, temporal and spatial continuity, and above all, the law of karma or the principle of cause and effect under which all other natural laws fall. A seeker who reads it can achieve a clear understanding of the separation between the body, senses, mind, intellect and the all-pervading Atman or Brahman personified as Krishna. The Culmination of Wisdom As his discourse nears its conclusion, Krishna urges Arjuna to reflect fully on the knowledge he has gained and to act according to his will. In Shloka 1863, Krishna says, I have taught you the secret wisdom which is deeper than all that is confidential and profound. Reflect fully on what I have declared to you and do as you wish. This particular shloka strongly underlines that the Srimad Bhagavad Gita neither pushes nor endorses any form of dogma. A genuine follower of Sanatana Dharma who studies the Srimad Bhagavad Gita seeks self-improvement through knowledge and guidance from scriptures, teachers and life's experiences. The path involves revering knowledgeable teachers and engaging in relentless inquiry. Yoga, equanimity and mind mastery. A person with a balanced mind earns the title Stitta Prajna, treating pleasure and pain, gain and loss and victory and defeat alike. Unchecked emotions mislead even the wise, but knowledge of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita empowers control, facilitating progress in one's karmic evolution. This knowledge promotes equality before natural laws, eradicating self-pity and mental weaknesses. The Principle of Cause and Effect 
Understanding the principle of cause and effect and one's gunas helps in removing troubles and promoting good health, happiness and energy. The narrator's spiritually enriched life highlights gratitude and mindfulness. Near-fatal accidents instilled preparedness, eliminating anxiety. Gratefulness, shared learning and cherishing nature characterize the narrator's approach. Mastering the mind. The mind is pivotal given its role in perception and experience. The main step to achieve self-realization, which is the highest goal in the path of Vedanta, is achieving complete mastery over one's own mind. The Srimad Bhagavad Gita, which the narrator calls the greatest mind management manual, unveils personal divinity and potential. Embracing this knowledge fosters courage, efficiency and social responsibility, enabling a journey rich with knowledge, experience and fulfillment towards a life of greatness. Introduction The human mind stands as the most powerful natural instrument bestowed upon individuals. To illustrate this, envision a hypothetical clash between a physically robust person with a feeble mind and a physically frail individual with a strong mind. In this duel of contrasts, the mentally strong yet physically weak contender holds a considerable advantage over the physically robust yet mentally weak opponent. This is because comprehending and utilizing physical strength requires a sturdy mind. A mighty weightlifter's strength is of no use if he does not realize that he possesses it. Embracing the study of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita unveils the profound principles of a seeker's latent potential and divinity. Krishna's teachings empower you to govern your mind maintaining its tranquility and command. By adhering to his guidance, you resist the mental enslavement that dogmas impose, safeguarding your capacity for independent thought and questioning. Such high knowledge protects you from mental subjugation by those with vested interests and helps you assert control over what is rightfully yours, your mind and self, which are inviolable. Through this mastery, your mind becomes a potent tool for an enriched existence bolstering your journey of karmic evolution. Reflect on this. Your ancestors, countless in number, collectively shaped your present identity. Similarly, your descendants will emerge from your thoughts, words and actions. Each fleeting thought and deed crafts karma, a continuous process. Favorable karma is preferable, warranting a conscious effort to tread the righteous path, ensuring a fulfilling existence and advancing personal karmic evolution. The Srimad Bhagavad Gita, a brief overview. The Srimad Bhagavad Gita, a timeless treasure of wisdom, is a profound dialectical discourse of Sri Bhagavan Krishna. It is a dialogue between Krishna and Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra as narrated to King Dhritarashtra by his charioteer Sanjaya. Amidst the ancient battle of Mahabharata, pitting the Pandavas against the Kauravas, we witness Duryodhana's insatiable hunger for power and control over the Pandavas' rightful share of the kingdom. On the tenth day after the start of the battle, the blind king Dhritarashtra, the father of the Kaurava brothers, eager for insight, summons his charioteer Sanjaya. Sanjaya possesses the gift of remote viewing that includes viewing events from the past. Through Sanjaya's narration, Dhritarashtra gains insight into the events on the battlefield, including the pivotal conversation between Krishna and Arjuna. In the middle of resounding war cries, Bhagavan Krishna and Arjuna appear on a majestic chariot drawn by white horses. Krishna assumes the role of Arjuna's charioteer and advisor throughout the war. Surrounded by armies and clamor, Arjuna's heart sinks as he recognizes his kinsmen, mentors and comrades in both factions. Overwhelmed, his strong resolve wavers and he contemplates the purpose of the battle. Amidst this sorrow, Arjuna turns to the Supreme Bhagavan Krishna, his charioteer and counsel. 
Through Krishna's ensuing discourse, Arjuna, embracing his role as a devoted student, attains profound knowledge or Atmajnana, the knowledge of the Self. Think about it. At the heart of all mental turmoil lies the challenge of learning to come to terms with various situations and this is highlighted in the first chapter of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Conflict management is central to alleviating sorrow and suffering. Set against the backdrop of a war, the discourse of Jagat Guru Sri Krishna is perfectly suited as conflict is an ever-present element in our lives. Understanding the principle of cause and effect, mastering the mind to face and manage any conflict and embracing a balanced, peaceful, prosperous and fulfilling life are key takeaways. Arjuna's dilemma encapsulates the struggle of fulfilling his duty as a warrior while facing his own family, friends and teachers on the opposing side. Such inner conflict often leads people to consider quitting and also rationalizing their idea to quit. Arjuna too articulates various reasons for his willingness to stand unarmed before his opponents and even letting himself be killed by them. To assist Arjuna who represents us in the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Krishna initiates a well-structured discourse guiding him through an intellectual journey to reach the highest understanding of the Self. Most of us have either succumbed or neared the brink of giving up in the face of such dilemmas leading to self-pity, depression, self-loathing and ill health. However, as sorrow engulfs Arjuna, he seeks refuge in the Supreme Bhagavan Krishna, his charioteer and guide. Through the dialectic discourse by Krishna that follows, Arjuna, fully embracing his role as a devoted student, achieves profound divine knowledge or Atmajnana, or the knowledge of the Self. The Srimad Bhagavad Gita commences with Dhritarashtra's inquiry to Sanjaya. Remarkably, the opening verse of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita starts with the term Dharma, while the closing verse concludes with Mama, forming the phrase Dharma Mama, or Mama Dharma, meaning my duty. This reinforces the idea that leading a righteous life is a universal responsibility and following Bhagavan Krishna's divine teachings is the sure path to fulfilling this noble duty. Before we proceed, it's essential to bear in mind that the entire narrative is 100% allegorical. 1. The Kauravas and the Pandavas represent opposing forces within an individual's mind. 2. The family members, friends, teachers and other close people whom Arjuna is about to fight represent the emotional attachments to people, objects and ideas that one has. 3. The battle of Kurukshetra symbolizes the eternal clash of ideas occurring within one's consciousness. 4. The near and dear ones in the story symbolize all the attachments that can weaken a person's mental strength to the extent that some individuals abandon their pursuits. 5. Arjuna embodies the common person who, despite education, knowledge, experience and wisdom, succumbs to emotions and easily becomes a quitter. 6. Krishna represents your intellect and embodies the potential of perfection that any seeker can attain provided they gain complete control over their mind, be responsible at all times and pursue the path of righteousness.